Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Korlick with Figure It Out Productions. The following video is part of our quick shoot series. Hey guys, it's Adam here. Uh, I just got a package. Unfortunately, I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention and I already opened it. My bad. But uh, inside is what's important. I got a CD jacket. Now inside that, we have three CDRs. All right, now CDRs, why is that special? Adam, why are there copies of Shenmue on the table? What's going on? I'm confused. Let me explain. A user over at the Dreamcast Talk forums named Smith, uh, who actually addressed himself as Ryo Hazuki on this package, which should have been a huge clue, but for some reason, I just opened it. Anyway, uh, what he went ahead and did is fulfilled a dream of mine for the longest time. Shenmue 1, every, there's only two versions of it, because uh, it was only released on the Dreamcast. You have the English dubbed version with English subtitles, and then you have the Japanese dubbed version with Japanese subtitles. Actually, there's a third version called US Shenmue that was released in Japan uh, that has English dubbed audio and Japanese subtitles. Not a good combo. What I've wanted for the longest time is English subtitles and Japanese audio for Shenmue 1. Now, unfortunately, uh, the game actually, I'm not a programmer by any means, but it's my understanding that the Japanese version uses a, a substantially different set of code so that this transition was not easy. Um, it's something that people have tried and failed at for years now. And Smith, this guy who was able to you know, to work on this, finally accomplished this. Uh, and so I'm just happy about it. He decided to mail it to me as opposed to upload it to me, which is really nice. You didn't have to do that. Uh, and this is, we're, I'm, we're calling this a pre-release because this has not been put out on the, on the internet yet. And he's going to put it out in probably about a week from the time I make this video. So depending on when you're watching it, you either have to wait a little bit or uh, it's already out and you can go get it. Uh, I Go over to the Dreamcast Talk forums for more information on that. I've made up a case and everything. It's called uh, Shenmue Japanese Dub, or the technical name, an undub. Shenmue 1, the undub. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just uh, play it a little bit and show you guys, you know, why I think this is great and exactly kind of what it is. Um, but it's, it's actually rather impressive. Uh, he was able to do, from a technical standpoint, quite a few things that no one else was able to do. First of all, the obvious one is get the audio working. It's not perfect, at least that's my understanding, uh, but it's supposed to be pretty good. Uh, he was able to use the um, Coca-Cola skins uh, over the um, vending machines. You know, in the American and European releases, uh, the vending machines were something like Jet Cola, uh, whereas in Japan, they were actually Coca-Cola, like officially sponsored. Uh, so he was able to change it over to the, the uh, Coca-Cola skin, which is just nice. Uh, it uses the, um, the PAL build of the game, which means that when you beat it, uh, you can transfer your save over to Shenmue 2, the European version, uh, without any hassle. Um, now, people are inevitably going to ask about CDRs. Uh, Actually, before I switch over to that, he also was able to put it on 700 megabyte CDRs. Uh, most versions of Shenmue uh, that use 700 megabyte CDRs are stripped out in several ways. He was able to get around this somehow. Uh, a lot of people use 99 minute CDRs to get the full length of the disc, or at least most of it. Um, so, you know, kudos to him for being able to find a way to do that with only 700 megabyte CDRs. And on to CDRs now. Uh, a lot of people know that I do not promote burning games for the Dreamcast. I, I really don't. And it, it has nothing to do with, like, stealing games, etc. I don't... It's not an issue as far as I'm concerned. Technically, it's illegal, yes, but I, I have no moral dilemma with it. And Sega's not making any money off that console anymore. Though you shouldn't pirate independent games, because those guys are trying to make money off of them. But anyway, um, it actually has to do with the kind of damage it can do to the console. Now... Smith is good at this. He, he's, he was able to make rips and uh, or versions that I guess will be far less damaging to the console. At least that's my understanding. Uh, again, even then, I, I really wouldn't you know recommend burning your games. But in this one unique case, I I, I have to say go for it because you're you're not going to have another way to do this. There's not going to be another way to play Shenmue One 
with Japanese audio and English subtitles, assuming that's something you want to do, which I do. It's too bad I can't get a pressed version of this, but, you know, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm very happy to have this. All right, let's take this, pop it in the Dreamcast. I like how it has its own little custom case. Shenmue Undub CD1, and let's go. Okay, I've got the game running here. Now, first thing, make sure you watch this in HD because I recorded it in HD. Now, when you get into the game, you're going to want to go to Options and switch over to Game Mode. Not Shenmue Mode, Game Mode. That's actually quite important to make sure everything is synced up and operational. Uh, so then once you go ahead and get the game started, it plays like normal. Now, I'm just going to show you guys the entire intro, and then after it's over, I'll uh, start talking again and give you some more information.
お前が殺した男の名だまさかお前は来い最後は武術家らしく死なせてやる<笑><笑>親父ンありましたお前一人残すことを何言うんだ親父親父あとと友を愛すべき友を持て親父親父親父,親父りょうさんいいんですか心配ないそれよりあの男のことだけどあの男ああ蘭亭と呼ばれていたやつだ親父と何を話してた鏡をよこせと俺その後道場から放り出されて黒い服のやつらは何て名乗ってたそれが突然現れて何もそうかありがとう福さんどんな些細なことでもいい何か思い出したら教えてくれりょうさんなんでそんなことをりょうさんどこにまさかあいつらを探しにやめてください先生を倒したほどの者たちですよ俺の目の前で親父は殺されたんだ敵は俺が取る親父のためにしてやれることはそれしかないんだ。So that was pretty neat, huh? Little、uh, fun fact for、uh, you Sega heads out there, my fellow Sega fanatics, I should say.、Um, the guy who voiced、uh, Ryo's father, Iwao Hazuki, in the Japanese version, in the version you just saw, is actually the guy who played Sagata Sonshiro. So, how cool is that? And if you don't know who that is, look him up and、uh, look up all the Sega Saturn commercials he did because they are hilarious. So, anyway,、um, as you saw from that second clip as well,、uh, you can, it also fixes some of the more annoying characters like Fukusan. And、uh, now I'm going around, I'm just going to play and talk to NPCs. Uh, so, this, this does work, at least so far, with, with what I've been playing with. It, it works on everyone. Like, everyone is switched over to Japanese.、Um, now, there is a fair warning. This is not perfect.、Uh, Cutscenes, like the opening one, do really well. Although, I was told that、uh, not every cutscene worked. Although, obviously, since I haven't beaten this entire version, I can't comment. I can only comment on what I've seen so far. Uh, but yeah, cutscenes tend to do pretty well. Stuff with NPCs,、uh, it kind of it varies. Like this one's going fine, although there, you'll notice a couple of little bugs here and there.、Uh, some characters, as I'll show you in a little bit, are really bad. Like they're way off, and I have a theory as to why I think that is. But yeah,、um, so 
yeah, uh, like here for example, Tom, who is one of the most annoying characters in the entire game. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to him. Uh, I tried to talk to him as you can see here, and she doesn't want to talk to me because she doesn't like strange men. That's fine, I understand. Um, yeah, anyway, I tried to talk to Tom, and now he speaks English in the Japanese version. At least he says a couple of things in English from time to time, as you can occasionally hear. Uh, I get the feeling that largely his dialogue is screwed up because Sega of America probably changed some of his lines and added like extra jokes to help okay. maybe make okay, it man. relate to Western audiences. Maybe? Does that make sense? That sound like a like hey, that pickles thing you saw there for a second. He doesn't actually say anything in the Japanese version. So I'm guessing there's simply just audio that just does not exist because those lines of dialogue were never recorded because they were exclusively in the uh, English version. But that's just a guess. Let's talk to someone important. Harazaki. You see what I'm saying? Cutscenes like this sync up pretty well. Uh, I think it, again, it's just a theory with Tom that he really doesn't sync up worth a damn, probably because they wrote extra dialogue for him, since he's like the only American character in the American release. But again, that's just a theory. I could be dead wrong. There could just be something weird about his code that it doesn't... I don't know, it doesn't translate well, didn't work properly, I don't know. Uh, but I'm, again, I am not complaining because this is really awesome. And again, huge shout out to Smith for doing this, for really finally getting this accomplished. Because, I, I, I mean, again, I am not a programmer by any means, but I have had people try to do this for years and no one's even like come close. And he's got it pretty much complete. I mean, save for just some audio files that don't exist. Like, even you can... Yeah. So you talk to this little kid, and even he's, you know, got the proper line. So it's, it's, it really is quite impressive he was able to accomplish this. But then I have to show you, you know, the worst of all worlds here again. I have to show you something Tom says. And I'm just going to let this play out yeah. a little bit, because you can kind of tell he doesn't say much. It, it's Something's, something's kind of wrong with this part of it. I'm not really sure why that is. Uh, some NPCs, you know, I, again, I think they just changed their, what they say a little bit, because sometimes you'll see text, like, in blue, which is Rio or, you know, brown. See how it flashed there for a second and then just didn't stay? I'm guessing in the Japanese version, they only say, like, one or two words no. to express Father? something, whereas Yo, in the no. English version, they say more. And I'm just guessing, based on the way the game probably works, uh, it will okay. keep subtitles up for a select amount of time that uh, coincides with the audio. So if the audio clip is only like a second and a half, but they wrote like a paragraph like that, then that's just not a lot of time to keep that up. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So some stuff just kind of gets lost in translation, I think, uh, quite literally. Um, so I guess I would say about this thing is it is really awesome and I would highly, highly recommend when this is officially released that everyone go check it out if you've already played Shenmue and you're a fan of it. This is not how I would suggest doing it the first time just because some stuff like that gets lost and you might actually get, I, again I haven't beaten this version, but you might actually get lost in the game because you're not getting enough information. So, this is a definite must-play for anyone who really likes Shenmue and has played it before, yeah. but if you're new to the yeah, series, yeah. and I highly recommend you check out the series, then uh, this is not where you'd want to start. But uh, I'll leave you with this, uh, a cutscene and NPC that actually does work correctly because the majority of them really seem to. So, um, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.